Hey guys, we're going to start a DVD Studio Pro series and I want to have a series on how to get your assets ready for DVD Studio Pro, how to create motion menus for DVD Studio Pro, but in this one we're just going to create a simple fast DVD, how to put a movie on it and get it burnt and put out the door. Not put multiple videos, not put multiple menus, but one video, one slideshow out the door, fast DVD, just to give you an idea of how this works. Okay, we're in DVD Studio Pro here as you can see so um, we're gonna use a template if you go to your templates up here you can see you have template styles which is um, we'll talk about all this in later videos but we're gonna go to our template instead of making our own template we're gonna use a pre-made one I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm just going to double click this one and here we go this is when you double click it it will throw the template up into the menu so now we have our basic template here. So let's go in and customize this. Let's, let's double click our text. I'm going to type Mac vs PC. Okay, there we go. Let's double click this one. And let's just remove it all together. Okay. We're going to select this menu. And we're going to name it Play Movie. We can get rid of this button by selecting it and deleting it. And this one, we're going to name it Slideshow. Okay, now we've got a basic menu set up here. So we're going to want to add some a picture to this. Right here, you can see this little arrow means there's a drop zone. So let's go to our Steals tab over here in our palette. If you don't see anything that you like and want to use and you want to add a folder with photos, just click the plus button and navigate to the folder you want to use and say add and as you can see that brings in all of our photos that are in that folder so what we want to do is we we'll just pick the, the, the uh, image you want drag it over and there'll be a little button come up set asset or create button we just want to set asset and there we go that throws our Apple picture or whatever picture you have inside that drop zone okay so now we have this now I just want you to know this is a wedding template I'm just using this for simplicity's sake okay so now we've got our little template set up here little menu so we want to add our movies let's go to our videos tab okay we don't have anything here that we want to use so I'm gonna click the plus button and navigate to the folder that I want to use navigate to the folder that has your movies you can't select individual movies you have to select the folder so make a folder and put all your assets in that folder and here it is as you can see all of them are there I'm going to say add. And here's my movie. It comes in right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this movie, click, and I'm going to drag it and hold it over top of this button. Now, when I do that, a little menu comes up says set asset, set asset and create track, create track. What we want to do is set asset and create track. Okay, that will stick that movie onto that button. Okay, now we've got that set up. Now, let's set up our slideshow. Let's go to our Steals tab. We've brung in our photo, our, our folder of photos already. So what I'm going to do is take that whole folder and drag and drop it on this button, set asset, and create slideshow. Okay, now we've done that. Now we want to add some audio to our slideshow. So let's go to our slideshow tab. Now it's going to show us all of our slideshow. Let's go to our audio and let's find some audio. We'll use this song here. I'll drag it and drop it on our audio wheel. And boom, that adds our audio. So now let's go back to our menu. As you can see here, we have our DVD set up. So we want to see if it's working. So let's click simulate. And this will simulate a DVD player. And this is what it's going to look like in your DVD player. If you want to see what it looks like in HD 720, put it on HD 720. 1080. It's all up to how you want to do it. 16 by 9 okay I'm just gonna leave it at 4-3 pan and scan so this is what it's gonna look like when we put it the DVD that we burn into our DVD player it works just the same way you can click on your buttons as you can see so if I click on my play movie you can see it takes us right to our movie let's go back to our menu now let's click on our slideshow and see what it looks like Not too bad, huh? 
So there you go. We have our basic one movie set up and we have a slideshow set up. And that's how you do it real simple. In our next movie, well, in not in maybe not the next movie, but in one of the next movies, I'm going to show you how to click on a menu and under this button, there's going to be a sub menu with three or four more menus that you can have three or four movies. Instead of having a separate button for each movie, we're going to put several buttons inside of one button if that makes any sense, okay? So uh, this has just been a real simple DVD tutorial. Um, stay tuned for more advanced videos coming about how to prepare your assets and movies for DVD Studio Pro and to how to make a little bit more advanced stuff inside DVD Studio Pro using the supplied templates and also how to make our own motion menus. Um, if I have enough time, let's see here. You fire up motion here. I made this little menu template inside of motion and if you're not happy with the ones that um, are supplied then you can make your own as you can see I've made my own here these come in and these will be our buttons let's turn on our text to give you an idea of what the buttons will look like and I'll replay it as you can see I'm in the background the buttons fade in and there we go soundtrack pro motion 3 and I'll show you how guys how to do all this but right now I just wanted to show you guys how to do a basic DVD burn a DVD now um, all you have to do after you have it all set up close down your simulation and just click burn under my preferences I have it set up to encode on build, which I like that because it makes building my DVD faster. You can have it do it the encoding in the background as you work, but I just like to leave it on encode on build. So there you go. That's how you build a fast, loose DVD. Stay tuned for more. See you next time.